So we are taking the Murdoch Canal Trail. It's going to be about a 10 mile ride. But hopefully the trail takes us most of the way there. It's going to a drive through exhibit. It's just like a homeowner who has a big yard and they put on a big Halloween display. It's usually meant for a drive through like a car, but I asked them on Facebook if they would accept walkers or bike riders too, and they said yes. Some type of Oracle building. Wonder if that's a mini headquarters. Unfortunately, the first part of this trail is a little bit uphill. Hopefully when I take it on the way back, I can just coast down. Google Maps didn't indicate that it was this big of a downhill and that's where I just was in the previous video. All the way up there. Had to come down but then all the way uphill. That might be the first time I've seen a real live treehouse. This part of the trail is more between residential places. You got horseback riders on the left. Probably about 25 minute bike ride away from the Halloween exhibit. pretty picture approaching the mountains but also I'm on lower ground right now so you can see all the houses above us hopefully this thing's open <laughs> it would suck if I rode 10 miles here and back only to find out that it was uh, closed or something but from the looks of things as long as it's not raining it's open most of the day. Getting even closer. Not sure if I'm going to have to climb a hill. Because I don't know if this property is up there where those houses are. Or if it's still on the lower level over here. One thing I like too is these. You see a bunch of these in Utah. I assume they're, uh, they shoot water out. And that's how you can quickly do the whole field. Looks like you've got a bunch of squashes there. Maybe some pumpkins sprinkled in. Okay, now I'm going to have to check my Google Maps because I know I'm getting close to a spot where I may have to turn.
but yes, I was right. Instead of turning or staying straight on that path, I'm supposed to turn down this side street because we're getting close to the place. It's a bit more rocky on this path. We made it to the Canyon Road Haunt. This is a place that has a ton of Halloween decorations. It's meant to be a drive through but you're allowed to walk and bike through if you're careful. You can see the hours are from 8 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. If you come at nighttime, they turn lights on the exhibits at 6.30 p.m. And if you have a radio, if you tune into 88.9, they're supposed to have some I believe some Halloween music or sounds that come with it. So I'll loop back around some of this stuff once I get to the exit. But let's see what we've got here. Some witches. The Dead and Breakfast Inn, established 2005. Big spider. And there's just a ton of cool decorations, even on the ground here pumpkins, all the cobwebs. Th these are my favorite type of Halloween exhibits. That's why you know, a lot of people probably wouldn't ride as long as I did, 10 miles on a bike, but look at these two skeletons hanging from a swing. And then even in the tree, you've got more skeletons. Not sure what type of animal that is, but feeding a big fly, I think. There is a car coming in behind me, so I'll make sure I stay to the far left. There's a one-eyed creature in a beach chair. Another car passing in behind me. Remains of a skeleton. Seymour butts. <laughs> Seeing it's pointing to the skele <laughs> the skeletons that are mooning me. <laughs> Why are the skeletons mooning? The fright is that way if you see the guy pointing to the left. And we're super close to the mountains here. Witch Street and Witch's Brew. So which should I look for first? I'm going to go this way and then turn around. Big graveyard of skeletons. See that one's missing its head on the right. A dog, oh see, the dog took its head. That's where the head went on that one. More witches at the top brewing something. Uh oh, that one's reserved for me. That's not good. <laughs> Here lies an atheist all dressed up and no place to go. Who's this guy? Still dressed in a businessman. I wonder if that's supposed to be like the Walking Dead. So it doesn't go further up, but we can go back to the left. I'm going to start back over here since I didn't cover this area.
Well, there's the resident dog walker. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, six dogs that they're walking. That one's just relaxing in a chair. Here's a more up close and personal shot of the three witches brewing something up. There's a sign that says Beetlejuice. And even like in the grass, but I'm not panning all the way down, but they have random bone fragments just to add more to the element. You have Frankenstein and his bride. Some skeletons riding a, looks like a rhinoceros. were these two sitting down next to each other on the hay? One little witch down here. They do accept canned food donations. This looks like a fortune teller. And if you want to make cashless donations, like if you liked what you saw in this video, go ahead and scan that VR code. Warning, spider jumps at sounds of clapping. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if I can do a clapping sound while I'm holding the phone. No. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> That startled me. <laughs> Four skeleton bringing a casket. Before I go back to the front, I missed this thing over here. We've got, I don't know if there's anything in that sewer thing. I guess that could be creepy in itself, but this is what I was looking at, the poison and a skeleton trapped in the poison. How about this for creepy? <laughs> All the hands reaching out like, help us. Don't stop. Yeah, that's right. Run out of here. <laughs> All right, now let's look at the front. Exit our web here, that is if you dare. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, they got the legs and the feet like it's smashed underneath. So this guy's playing golf and he's got his caddy behind him. have a skeleton riding a ATV or whatever you want to call it. A few witches hanging on the front post. Skeleton with a coffin and skeleton horse pulling it. What do we have here? Witch's Way, Deadly Desserts. So they have cauldron cakes, putrid pudding, apple spider, and ice cream.
very cool. Skeleton going out and fishing right here. And then that looks like the witch from uh, Wizard of Oz almost riding a bicycle. Hey, that's, that's the one most in common with me since I rode my bike all the way here. And that wraps up the tour. So that was a nice 10 minute walk around. Very, very cool. I lo absolutely loved it. I'm probably going to go through and take a couple of selfie shots, but thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed all the cool scenery, and we'll see you next time. I see we have some political satire here. back on the trail I came from, although I'm not going to take the entire 10 mile trail. There's a shorter path I can take once I get to the end of this trail. I think I take some city streets and it'll go to a different front runner station. That'll save me 25 minutes of bike riding according to Google Maps. There's another tree house, a full blown tree house. I wonder if maybe I can get a better picture of it once we get past these trees. Yeah, the trees are still blocking it. So if you watched my other video from earlier today, Speaking of which, I don't remember if I mentioned the date in the second video. It's October 16th, close to 2 o'clock p.m. But if you watched the original video from this morning, that was the Scarecrow Festival at Ashton Gardens, which is at Thanksgiving Point in Lehigh, Utah. So between that and this exhibit that I saw, that's a great, I don't know, it just brings me a lot of joy to see those type of festive Halloween things gets you in the spirit. I was hoping to see more decorations on houses so I could do a walking tour through some neighborhoods but it's just not concentrated enough uh, with decorations. So this alternate path on the bike trail had me turn left and we're now we're above a golf course. Otherwise we're fairly isolated big open field to my left remember that's where I came from I was close to the houses earlier for that Canyon Road haunt it's remarkable how many bike paths they've carved out in Utah there's definitely no shortage of them. Now, are they the most scenic, per se? Well, I mean, they're scenic in the sense that everywhere you look, you're always going to see mountains. But it's not like, a, like you're not cutting through buildings and downtown areas. You're just a little bit out in the middle of nowhere. But today, the temperature, or at least now, is up to 55 degrees, so... This is perfect. You're not going to get too overheated riding a bike and a little long sleeve and sweatpant clothing. It's going to keep you nice and warm. Well, there. We just went from the middle of nowhere to now being immersed in almost like the reminiscent of the metro parks back home in Cleveland. Yes, my suspicions were right. Now we're level with where the golf course was down below earlier. Although this part isn't the golf course, this is just an open area park. I don't know if this is still Lehigh, Utah. 
I know the train station that I'm heading toward is called American Fork. And most of the time, the city, uh, the front runner stations are named after the city, so maybe there's a city or area called American Fork. So now we appear to be going downhill. I wonder if we're going to be joining levels with the golf course eventually. I'm only applying the brakes right now because not safe to go super fast while filming, especially downhill. Here's the always popular pickleball in Utah. I was waiting to see my first like normal house with just decorations in the front yard that was worth stopping and taking a video picture of. And here we go, this cute little house. They've got the various witches on the right, some skeletons in the background, the pirate Spongebob, pumpkin inflatable, and then some other cool decorations. Nice overall display put together. Wow, here's another awesome one I just stumbled upon. Look at all the decorations. So that's the good thing about leaving a little early when you're traveling to places you're not familiar with. When there's a sidewalk out and road construction going on and you have to walk in the curb lane, you have a little bit of spare time to account for those things. But right now I'm supposed to catch my front runner train in about 13, 14 minutes. But I'm, I know I'm getting close. The station should be two to three minutes away, and the sidewalk's going to resume right up here. Here we go, the American Fork Station. So after looking at the map, I was reminded that haunt we were at earlier was in Pleasant Grove, Utah. I'm not sure if this station is a city called American Fork. But whatever it is, it's between Pleasant Grove and Lehigh, but more south than Utah. Exit only, enter.